Hello everyone, I think Here we go. So, hopefully the technology will be with us for the next hour. Welcome to everyone and today we are gonna see together how Magic Plan works. So, I would say there is maybe a little delay. Okay, got it. So, I think you should be able to see the simulator right now. Okay, perfect. So, we hide it myself, but you're still you're seeing at least my video. Sorry guys, so now we can start. So, I would say let's start again with the settings. So, as you can see, you can see here your email which you, you are using to log into the uh, Magic Plan app which you can of course download from the um, Google Play Store or from the Apple Store depending on the device you're using. If you go into account you can set up your information so you can put your picture, you can set up your name, last name, phone number, um, change the email, the passwords and if you want here you can turn on or off so to get the product updates automatically. We leave it out because we're in the simulator, so it's not like a real iPad. And here, of course, if you want to delete your account. If we continue here, you can see, well, here the um, estimate, well, in this case, the subscription that we are using. And you can click here on company profile, you have the logo and you can put all the, your company information like the name and contact info here and also of course the address, all the details of your company and if you wish you can also add a watermark so that you can have it on your projects, on your uh, documents. Perfect and then here you can still check which kind of subscription you have, if you pay monthly or yearly once the, uh, the time when the uh, subscription will uh, auto renew, how many seats you have, so to say how many people can work in your account. Oh, pardon, here we go. And then members, if you want to invite more members at some point, still in your account. Debug is not interesting because it's only something that we have in the uh, simulator. App preferences, this is very interesting because you can change here the unit from metric to imperial, so you can choose feet, inches. I will leave it in metric because it's the one that I'm used to use, but you can change it as you wish. And also here you can make local copies of your photos so that they're basically stored in the Magic Plan Cloud. You can decide where you want them to save. We we will leave it like that because we're in the simulator. And cloud backup, if you leave it like this, everything you do will be saved in the cloud automatically. If you turn it off, which we will do it now because I want to show you what you can do if you leave it off and how you can save your project if the cloud backup is deactivated. Perfect, here you can check with privacy if you want to read our privacy policy, terms and conditions, they are saved and you can always see them, or read them whenever you need. Help and support if you want to contact us directly so you have questions or um, you want to suggest something, whatever, you can just contact us from here. You can share the app, you can rate the app, of course, here if you want to log out and also down here, it's maybe an interesting note, you can see which app version you are using. So this one is the newest one and you can always check if you are up to date and also here for example the iOS version that we're using device, device model and so on. Okay, I think for the settings we are done. Here you can change your workspace in case you have more than one but 
once you start with Magic Blend, you have one workspace, and then if you have more, you can change it here. Then I would say we can start with our first project. I clicked already before here because I thought you can see my iPad, my simulator already, but it's not a big deal. We don't calculate this project 17. So here, if you are on all, you see all the project that you have saved in that workspace um, in the cloud, which we will see in a bit. And if you go on device, you see the project that you have on that specific end device. This sample project will be always available for everyone once you download the app, so you can see how a project can look like. I would like to start a new project. In your case, it will be project one. We can rename it and we can call it, uh, for example, Home Sweet Home. Very easy and done and it changed its name. We will see those other notes um, in a bit. So I would say let's start with our project. We click on the plus. We choose the floor, let's say ground floor, add. And we land on this blank page, so we click on add again. Then we will add a room. For example, here you have all the options that you can use to add a room. Um, I cannot use the function scan with camera because it's a simulator, but I have a pre-recorded video to um, show you so that you can see how it works if you have like a real iPad. Here we go. So you click on the plus as we did, then you choose the floor, then you land on the blank page, we choose the room and scan with camera. At this point you choose the room type, for example kitchen, and this is me scanning the room, so you point once on the floor, and once you have this green sign you can start from the corners, and then basically you can scan your entire room, and. We just needed to walk a bit here, okay, from corner to corner. Then, as you can see here, also if you have furnitures in between, it's not a problem. The app recognizes the corner. You just need to wait a couple of seconds. As you can see, there is like a green circle turning around. So once the circle is completed, then the corner is detected. And then you can also detect the window. Same thing. As you can see, once you have the uh, green sign, then the window is detected. You can also choose the window type here on the bottom if you want, if you want to change it. And here we have also the two doors. So the first one here, green sign, okay, perfect, recognize. And the second one, here we go. And then you do yes, I'm sure, done, and you have your room ready to go. Okay, so, now we can start create our project using, for example, add a square room. I will start with a kitchen. And here we go, you have your kitchen. We can do it a bit bigger. We can pull it, just clicking on the wall and pull it out. And voila, we have our kitchen. Then we move it a bit and we add our second room. Let's do the fine corners. Then I will do a bathroom and then basically you just click somewhere where you want to create the room and you go ahead like you have this for this sign, this blue sign here, then you can do so. Let's say here we have our pipes, for example. I will show you in just one sec what we do there. And oh, Okay, here we go, and we have our room, then let's add another one. Mm, this one, we add again a square room, and you can choose here, I take bedroom, and then I want to move it because I don't want a bedroom in the middle of nowhere, so I long click on the room, then you still have these four arrows, and you drag and drop, basically. Then you have the green signs helping you, moving the room around. And we want it to be as long as the bathroom here, so we can enter the room. Here we go. So let's take here the wall and we pull it out. Or we can also check, if we want, I'll show you. 
If we choose the bathroom is 3 meters 98, we can double check. This one is 94, okay, we can click on the number and do 3 meters 98. So it's millimeter perfect. Okay, great. Then let's add another room. Let's do a um, define corner again. I want to add, let's take a living room. Okay, perfect. So I will start from, let's say from here. Then I just move it around. With the fingers is easier, of course, but I'm using the mouse, so we will do our best. Let's move it there. Then we want to have it like, uh, we can also add the corners if we want. We can also do here, so, like this. You can basically do your room as you wanted it, like with all the corners that you need and strange sizes and forms and really everything. And let's add one more room. Let's take a square room again for the last one. And I want to add a playroom. Okay, perfect, it's there. So we can select it again, long press for blue arrows and we put it here. And then we can edit it and make it, for example, like the living room in the size. So we can do like this, take the wall and pull it out. And then you still have the green signs helping you make the right size. Okay, so our flat is slowly having a form. So I don't want to have a hole inside my house, right? So I will add a room, but I will use this function, insert a filler, and we will use filler room. You can still choose the kind of room that you need, that you wish. I will take hallway this time, take this sign, this blue arrow again, and put it here, and voila, we have our hallway. And also here, we said before we have the pipes in this place, right? So we click on add, room, again, insert a filler and fill a wall. So we take this and put it there. So we know this one is not a room, but it's a space that is filled with something. Okay, so I would say we can start with the, the doors maybe, right? So we can start here from our hallway and we click here. Let's put it there, so add object, doors, we can still select the door that we prefer, we take this one here for the bathroom, I turn it around, so here, rotate door, perfect, I want the same door for the entire hallway, perfect, not a problem, then I can duplicate it and just move it to other rooms, then I want one more door, duplicate it again, and I want to move it here, but this time I want to turn it around, so rotate, one, two, three, perfect. And here I want to add just an opening because I don't want another door, so add object. This time we add the opening and voila, here we go. If we want it to be bigger, we just click here. We can do it, let's say one meter, exactly. And here we go. And then Let's say here we have these, uh, let me go out once, okay. We have these two rooms and we want to click here. So once we have this sign again, let's say we don't need the playroom anymore because I don't know, the kids moved. They're not living with us anymore. So we can merge the rooms. And once you have this, you selected the room, merge, and you can choose which room do you want to merge with that one. So let's click here. And voila, you have a big living room. We can also change the name, uh, also the room type because it's not a playroom anymore. So we do a living room and we can call it, uh, let's say, cozy living room. And voila, it's saved. We can also give a uh, color to our room if we want. So we can choose here room color and we make it let's say this beautiful orange here, close. And then once you exit, voila, you have your color. 
I have my bedroom here already colored without noticing it, but I can also change it. I made it blue, but I like it like this. Make another blue. Okay, perfect. Okay, then we can start at our furniture. So I would say objects. And if you don't know where you can find something, you can also write here to be quicker bed, for example. And we have here double bed. Let's take this one. So in this case, put it here. Then I want to add a window, then object again. So the object that you use done, let's say more recently, they're always here. So you don't have to look for them every time. So French window in this case, okay, let's put it there. Then let's say we want to put a wardrobe here and we want to add like a corner. We're building this apartment, so to say. So we can click here and we can choose this one, add corner. Ah, uh, yeah, pardon, I choose the wrong wall. So let's do it here, add corner. Yes, confirm. Okay, perfect. So let's go down, let's make it like this. Okay, it's enough like that, I think. We can also turn the bed around if you don't like it like this, so. You always have the green signs helping you. So let's add an object and then we can choose here in the furniture. So we can take, let's say, mm -mm -mm. okay, let's take this one, two sliding doors, wardrobe. I turn it around and here we go. We have our space. We can also check here, for example, if I click on this little wall sign here, let's go there. If you want the window to be here or to be more left or right, and you can look in this elevation view, you can have maybe a better view of your, um, of the position, let's say, of your object. So, you see, it's still, it's starting to look good. So, let's put something also in our bathroom, bathroom quickly, so some objects and take here plumbings. So, I want to add a uh, shower. So I turn it around like this, I put it there, let's put it here, okay, then I want to add a sink probably because I think we need one, so a rectangular sink, I put it also here, then let's add, also let's see, let's look in appliances for a washer and voila, let's put it there. And one last thing in the bathroom, we would need our toilet. So let's choose here. The, here we go, toilet. And turn it around like this. We put it there and we can also add a little window and French window that it's saved. And voila, here we go. Let's do so. I want to show you just for safety because our project is not saved yet, right? So we can click here on the three dots and choose upload to the cloud. So basically our project will be saved there. Um, if you leave the option that I showed you before here at preferences, here cloud backup deactivated, you have to remember to save it if you don't want to lose the project or to be sure that it's like in backup that is there. So I'm gonna activate it again so that we're sure that our project is not disappearing and it's saved and fixed in the cloud. Okay, so let's add also something quickly to the kitchen. I think we got stuck at the uh, bathroom. I, I will go back, don't worry. We'll do it again. Okay, I'm not adding the window again because we, will, we were doing it in the other rooms, but Let's select an object and the gas cooktop was the, the one that I was chosen, that I chose from here. And also add a uh, little table. Let's put it there. Here we go. Okay. Um, the door is the same one that we actually had here. So as you can see, it was still the hinged door. We can also make it bigger if we want. We can do like uh, 90 centimeters and it's a bit wider. And I'm gonna show you again these, um, 
the wall, so I'm gonna delete it. So if you want to add a wall, so for example in this case to avoid the cold air to come in, for example you click on the wall and here you get add wall, so just click on it and voila. And you can also adapt the size if you want. So let's put it like this, voila, two meters. And I also added the door, I think you didn't see it before because my video was stuck, but is the also here to go in. Okay, so let's add something into this room so we have it beautiful and then let's say some objects, we can add a TV, so let's look for it here for beautiful movie night. Okay, so let's add it there and I made this window bigger before so I did like 130, we can also do 140 so we have a beautiful big window, we can put also the table a bit more here in the middle and let's add something to seat in our room. So I go back into the furniture and we can choose, you have a lot of objects, we always update them normally and you can always have like a big choice. So I take a couch set because here we go, I turn it around, I like it more like this, so the big couch that looks inside the room and we can also add, let's say we want to add some notes to this carpet, so let's go, I select it, I go into the E of the infos and photo and notes, I click here, I would like to text the camera, yes. So, well, in a real device you could also take pictures on site, but you can go also in your gallery and for example you say, okay, I've seen this carpet, I like it, here we go, add, and, here we, and you can also write something, carpet, I like and here you go you see here you have the note and the pictures and you can also let's say add an object that you create so if you go down oh sorry it's yes okay so if you go down the list of your objects you have here new object so you can click on it and you can decide do you want to create an object based on an existing one or a completely new object? We want to do a new one, completely new, so we did no. Um, we can call it um, little carpet, for example, for the entrance, let's say. And we can choose here. And you can decide what you want to do, so if you want to import it from another app, if you want to paste an SVG link or what you, we will do now, open image editor, so we click here and you can draw and in the meantime hi everyone, I see your comments but I'm not answering everyone, um, so here we go, we can do like a very easy squared carpet, I'm not doing something too complicated but you can like use your imagination, so here let's do it in a orange because we did an orange room and it's like this and then once we're happy with our result we do done. We can also adapt the size so let's say um, we want it to be a bit not, not so wide, a bit less. Let's do 70 centimeters and we will see if we like it like that. We can add it where we want to, we want it to be so that we remember where we put the carpet, I'm gonna put it in uh, my favorites and then click on done. Then it needs one second to load, then I can go into my favorites and here we go. And then I can turn it around and put it here in the entrance. Beautiful carpet in my orange living room. You can see, tada, looks like this. Okay, um, let's say I go back into my kitchen for example, um, it was raining a lot in the last days and we had some water damages in our kitchen. Okay, then we can do so that we can see where we have the water damages, we can take some notes, we add. Instead, well, we go into add objects but we don't really add an object, we add an annotation and we choose for example, I like this one photo 
we can turn it around. Let's say our water damage is here, in this corner here. I put it like this. And then I can here also go there in photo and notes and add some picture of my water damages, for example. So you have here, okay, add. And we can also type something. Um, here we have the uh, water damages. Ah, here we go. <laughs> it came out <laughs> all in once. Perfect. So we can close it. Okay. And we can also, I don't want to select the wall, but click on add object and we go again in the annotations and add this beautiful part here, annotation shape. And we can basically draw, let's say, where we have the uh, water damages. So I will not be like Picasso with the mouse, but I'm doing my best just to show how it works. And voila, you have your water damages and you can also change the color if you want. Well, for water damages, I think it's pretty good like this, but you can change and do it in whatever color you prefer close and here you have okay this area exactly this area is damaged and to it needs sanification let's say okay so at this level this one that you see here this one is called project level you see it here in the corner and you can change as we saw before well the project name of course but you can also see here all the details like the surface in my case, in now in square meters, you can have, it, of course, in inches and so on. The volume, the perimeter, the uh, floors, you can do here, see all, and you see all the little details of your project. So you have um, how many rooms you have, the bathroom, windows, and all the surfaces, walls with opening, without openings. And you can really check like everything. We're not like reading everything, but you can do that once you have like a little project. And we can set the address of the project. So you can use Google Maps. In this case, don't allowed. We just write, for example, Munich, where we are now. And country, let's put Germany. And done. Okay, so you will see it also on your project. We can set an author. In our case, it's me, so we can put Sylvia. And the creation date can always be edited. So now we have the date of today, but if you want to change it in the future, then you can do that. It's absolutely fine and up to you. And also leaving cal area calculation. Here you can also select what you want to see. Here include interior walls, yes or no, and see all the details listed, basically. Done. Then you have photo and notes, so you can click there. And we can add pictures that you will have in the uh, documents that you export. We will see it in one second. Let me add one picture. For example, you could use the uh, picture of the uh, house outside. I've chosen this one. It's like a window from the outside, which I liked. And we can put um, our house outside, oh, pardon outside um, living room part, for example, just to add a note if I want. If I don't want, you don't have to. Oh, living room. Okay, got it. And we click on done. And now you will see this picture appearing at the very beginning of our project. We go here in files and sharing and you have here report PDF. You can configure it because this is a question that we usually get. How can I set my PDF report? So you can choose here A4 US letter, the uh, page size, of course. Um, you can show all the room names or hide them. You can choose here what you want to have displayed, how many, how many details you want to have displayed. So you can see here, once you have it in green, it will be, of course, on the document. If you deactivate it, it will be hidden. And then also here, select all dimensions. You can choose the size of the pictures. You can have it small, medium or large. I leave it large because we also have the water damages. So we want to see 
them in big and we called it well you will have here a uh, disclaimer that it's like automatically generated i cancelled it once so it's gone for me but we can write down home sweet home i'm gonna show you right now in one sec where we will see this disclaimer on our document i make it big i like it more so and click on done okay then we click here it needs a couple of seconds to load the page finalizing okay once you get this message your files are now available click on ok and you click here on the pdf this is by the way also the uh, part where you can print your project because sometimes people don't know where they can go to print it so here we go then we can choose here quick look and voila you see the picture that we added at the project level so you can see then all the details we have here submitted by Sylvia, created on, location, total area. This is like now the note that we added to the uh, picture, but you can write whatever you need. And here we have all the details. Here you have the disclaimer. Here we go. Homes with home. And you see room by room and all the the project, all the notes and the pictures and you have everything listed. Now we click here on done. Okay, uh, we can also see what here. If you download this sketch PDF, it's just I show you because it's just a sketch. So you don't have all the details. So if you only need, let's say the floor plan, quick look. Voila, you have one page, quick and easy, and you can send it to someone if someone has to just have a quick look. And here you have, if you click on sketch image, for every format you have here the configure option, right? So you can configure every export, not only the report PDF. And here you can see you also have other formats like JPG, PNG, DXF and SVG so that you can basically work also in other um, apps or in other uh, pages, let's say, with the project you created in Magic Plan. For example, this one is used for AutoCAD for a lot of users. And here we go, make it done. Then we have here our ground floor. If, let's say, we have another floor which is the same, as this one well now we have everything inside but this is just to show you how it works you can choose here duplicate floor you choose for example force floor done and voila you have everything copied you can edit it of course but if you copy it once it is empty then you can modify all your rooms and put whatever you need to have or to display in the first floor we don't need it right now so we can do the late floor yes you could also copy the rooms so if we enter the project we are here in the floor level i'm going to show you one thing also before we copy the room here you have the interior wall thickness that you can adapt you could choose for example zero let's do 20 centimeters so that you can see check here and voila they get bigger I like them more smaller, so I'm leaving them like they were with 12 uh, centimeters. And the exterior wall thickness, you can also adapt it. So we have 0 0.25. Let's make it big so that you can see. And just check here. And here we go. So you can really adapt it to your needs. And I close it there. So voila, we have the kitchen. You could do so. Here we go. So floor, you have floor type, ground floor. You can move the kitchen. So if you want, for example, move it in the first floor, tack, you click like this and the kitchen like disappears. And if you change the floor, you will find it here. So I'm gonna put like this. If we want, we can select the kitchen and move it back to the ground floor. And voila, it's back. 
So you can play around, you can move the rooms, you can duplicate the, uh, the floor and see, okay, here we can delete the floor, we don't need it, it's empty anyway, okay, perfect. And now we can have a look to the uh, magic plan cloud. Let me see, okay, it seems to work. I'm worried that my page freezes at some point again. Okay, so here, let me refresh it. Okay, here we go. So you see, we have our new project already saved in the cloud because we did like automatic backup. We can enter our project here. And voila, you see everything that we created in the app. You can also have a look in 3D. And voila, you see everything showing in our floor plan. And you can decide if you like it, if you want to change something, you really have all the details displaying here. If you would have a 360 camera, of course, this apartment does not exist, right? So we cannot take 360 pictures, but if you would have a 360 camera, so we in a real apartment, then you can take the 360 pictures and you can see your entire room. Let's leave it in 2D. And I'm reading here. Uh, when you show the video of the room scan, you aim at the floor when the ceiling, then the ceiling. I do not have to do this when I use the app. Why is this this? Uh, yes, um, this is a good question. As I scanned the room at the beginning, I um, aimed at the floor and the ceiling, but then we did some updates in the scanning function so that the uh, functionality works better. So you don't have to scan the floor and the ceiling anymore normally, depending on which version of Magic Plan you are. But if you have the updated version of Magic Plan, then you will not need to also aim to the um, aim at the ceiling normally. So only at the floor, <laughs> basically. Okay, so if we click here on the info, we have, again, all the details of our house. If we click on the room, we see it comes out adapted to the room. And in uh, photo and notes, if we would have photos to the room, to the entire room, they would appear here. But we only added the picture, if you remember, to the carpet. So it would come out if I select the carpet. And the same here, if I go into the kitchen, I will not see the pictures, but if I select the object, voila, we have our water damages. So it depends which level you choose and then it appears exactly there. Then we can also have a look here in the uh, settings here. You can move the project. So basically if you have more, as I have here, workspaces, you can move it from the workspace that we are using to another workspace. But I'm leaving it there for now. And also you can edit project as you need. So if you're working, let's say there are two people working in the same profile and you want someone else to do an update to the project, a different person, of course, than the one that created the project, then you can edit project SNE, for example, and you just select the person and that other person can continue working on the same project. And delayed project, pay attention. If you choose, yes, I'm sure, and delayed, the project is deleted like forever because we are not able to recover a project that has been deleted from the cloud. So think about it, if you really need to delete it from the cloud or not. Then share project, you can also, let me do so here, you can share it with someone in your group with a link. You can export the project, same thing that we saw in the app. For example, here I show you just the sketch one because it's the uh, smallest one to upload. Work like a charm, perfect, then you can click on it. And voila, you have your project. So you can export it both from the app and from the cloud, depending on where, you're, where you prefer to do it. Share via email and you can send it also to someone that doesn't use Magic Plan, for example. Then let's go back here to the project list. Okay, then you can also here see 
all the members that you have in the uh, workspace, you can invite member. Well, we have here one seat, so it's me. Then we have teams. You can create a team with more people if you have other co-workers, for example, that need to work in a specific team. For example, painters, they have their own team. In statistics, you can see how many projects everyone created or the team created, depending on what you want to display. Here you have all members or just one member you can check. Billing. Here you can check which subscription type you have. And for example, if you subscribed with the uh, Magic Plan directly, you would see here also Manage Plan. I go one second into my free workspace because this one will not update, but here, here we go. If you have a free account, you will have here free plan and also billing will be empty because you didn't pay for the app. So you can upgrade it and voila, you can choose here. If you need a subscription, you can choose which one fits you at best. So you have sketch, report and estimate and you can decide to subscribe monthly or yearly. And also you can see here, there's not only euros, you have US dollar and other values here. Let me go back into my other account that we, in account, it's the same account in my other workspace that we were using until now. And here we go. I show you just a couple of things more. The billings here you can choose, also you can change the uh, email. You can see here the workspace name, you can edit it if you want. And see here, export button, you have configure. Then company profile is similar like uh, to the one that I showed you in the app. So you can add here the same things like the logo, all the details of your company, watermark if you want, and then you see where they appear in your PDF. And API and integrations is something useful because it depends on the subscription type that you have. So some subscription type doesn't have all the APIs, but it could be also that you don't really need them. And you can see here if you have enabled, then you're able to use those API showing here. And also if you go here, you already saw here, you can switch the workspace. Then if you go into your account, you have still your information. So your name, you can edit your password. You can see here the connected devices and you can also change them if you need. And we can go here, contact. If you want to contact us directly, this is basically like part of our Magic Plan website. So here also you see Voila, if you go into the website, you have this page. If you click there, you go like you jump directly into this um, page. So to say to be in contact with us. And I think we saw almost everything. Well, Help Center is the support team. So it's us. Legal, if you want to read it again. And cookie settings here, activate all, confirm selection. Let's say confirm selection. And... I think we saw everything in Magic Plan, so everything that is necessary. Let me come back here. Okay, here we go. I think you can see me. And do you have any kind of questions about something in the project or something specific in the app or something that was unclear? If you have some questions, we can have a look. We can check in the project. Let's wait. I will wait a couple of minutes once. Now we completed our floor plan and it's not blocked anymore. Okay. Okay, so I think if no one has questions, then we can... Let me see. Okay, got it. Uh, we have 
Can I export the 3D files for a different software? Um, yes, normally let me hide myself again. So here we go. Um, in files and sharing, if we go here, we have also here the 3D model that we can configure it. And here you also have different file formats, so like OBJ, EFC, USDZ. And I'm not clicking here because I don't know if my simulator is gonna block because it happened the last time, but in the regular app, in the regular iPad or end device that you're using, you can see here the 3D models that you can export. Does anyone have another question? We can wait a couple of minutes if you have something that you want to ask. Click on done here. Okay, perfect. So we made it to the end of our first live video on YouTube or live webinar. We're sorry for the little technical issues, but it can happen, we're live, so you know. And thank you so much for following us. I hope you enjoyed the live video. We will save it and then we will see you the next time in 